This is my dog, and this is a test. It's his first time really off leash, and his very first time at the cabin. We want to know if he will be a good cabin dog. Today's the day we find out. You're frozen. <laughs> we definitely need a rail, guardrail. Go, puppy, let's go. <laughs> oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. Puffy! Oh well. He's doing good. He's doing really well. So this is the first time Crystal has been out at the cabin yeah. since we made the initial offer on the place this summer. And uh, we've, we've been waiting for it to be a little more ready for her. So that includes the stairs and the bed. Today is just a day trip. We're just coming out and uh, we're going to uh, clean it up a little bit more. And we're gonna add a few things to the cabin. I really wanted you guys to see Puffy, my dog. He's a miniature poodle. He's about 16 and a half pounds. You know, we hear that poodles are great outdoor dogs. And this is our first experience with him really being off leash, just letting him go. Here, he seems to be really paying close attention to us, which is a great, great feeling for me because that means there's a really good chance now he will be joining me more regularly on the channel. Um, and he's just loving it. So we've got these really old chairs, probably from like the 60s or 70s. I'm thinking maybe 80s. I don't know. They're really old and uh, got them secondhand here in town and got them years ago. Always kind of envisioning maybe they would fit in a cabin situation. And here we are. So yeah, they're pretty old school and I love the colors. And it just reminds me of growing up, you know, in the late 70s and early 80s. This blanket right here is handmade by Crystal. And as you guys know, I'm very proud to say that I grew up in Labrador. 
And when Crystal and I first started dating, within the first year, she wanted to do something special for me. She wanted to, you crochet the blanket, right? Mm -hmm. She crocheted me the blanket and she decided that she would really uh, pay close attention to the colors and she decided to go with a Labrador flag theme. sawdust that's what you want nice big chips perfect now this is an old school Labrador trick that I was taught by Jerry if you cut a log lengthwise you're gonna get crazy beautiful shavings I guess you could call it you could call it shavings from the uh, from the tree and they're really long and what a lot of people do back home is they coat it with the oil that uh, comes from their generators when they have to do oil changes. They take the oil from the generators and they pour it over the shavings um, and you end up with beautiful fire starter. Now, of course you are starting with oil, but man, oh man, it goes up. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a bunch of old grease that I have here from cooking fries. Okay. Look at this big wood you got. <laughs> Can you pee? So this is Stampa, and uh, he's Carrie's dog, and he's really good friends with Puffy. In the end, Puffy had a phenomenal day. He was so happy to be at the cabin and we just loved having him there. He, he really does feel like a cabin dog. I think that he will do fine. And considering he's only just over a year old and he had all the space in the world to run away on us, he did not do it. On the two times that he took off a little bit, he came back on his own and he came back quickly. So we feel really good about that. We'd love to hear from you and what you think of Puffy and if you'd like to see more of him on the channel. I know this video was shorter than most, but I really just wanted to get out for a quick little day trip, have a nice little surprise video, and uh, yeah, it's it just it felt right. And, and, and Puffy, he's a good little guy, and uh, we couldn't be more proud of him. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I'll be back really soon.